How many cameras are we taking on the pier today, Ron? Check it out, man. I got the I got the big boy set up today, bro. Uh, you you like you're like double fisting it. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you do right there. I'm never watching the weather again because it, it's every day like Thursday is supposed to be the best weather day and it's blowing and raining. I know. And yesterday was perfect. It's yeah. Just, Dude, James Spann is like where it's at. He he posted a weather report basically at the beginning of the summer. He's like, there's no need to watch the weather unless there's like a tropical system coming. He said, aside from that, every day there's a you know 70% chance of rain. Yeah. It's gonna be hot and muggy. I agree. Good morning, Beach Bumps. We are headed out to Okaloosa Island Pier. We've got a lot of video cameras and uh, people that post videos on YouTube. We're trying to catch tarpon. Well, yeah. Well, it's only it's only for my use. You let us one of us catch a fish. He charges by the fish. So big, it looks like he's running away from home. Yeah, we're gonna try. Dad, gum it. I'm caught again. Somebody grab my rod. Don't, don't, don't. Oh my, oh my goodness. So for the record, this is like the fourth time. <laughs> Somebody needs to clean up their crap. Grant, you don't gotta worry about beach bum. He can't get out of the fishing line. All right, we gotta fix this. Somebody jack this crap up, man. It's like a dang spider web. So this morning I'm throwing a hoagie pro tail. I did boil this to give it a little more action. I've got 80 pound mono using my pin slammer 6500 or 40 pound braid. What you got, buddy? Yes. Oh, look at you, dude. Trying to get your fish here. Woo! Look at that. Nice, dude. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Nice. Woo, there you go, Landon. Heck yeah, brother. Let's hold your fish up. Nice, dude. There you go. Check out Landon's king right here. Sweet freaking fish. Yes. Oh, yeah, he broke one off early. Where? Oh, I see that, yeah. Well, just threw out our first little wad of tarpon. We had some come through. I saw a few. It's still early in the morning. Can't see great. Man, my nerves are like on edge right now, man. I, I, I gotta hang one. I know, like, uh, my nerves are freaking shot, dude. Like, wow. see, just seeing these fish, know, like, I'm like, and I'm freaking out. Like, uh, I need some Xanax. Did they yeah. throw the rod down there? Uh-uh. They so, threw a rod? So, yeah, so they got the tarpon down there to the end, and, like, he was going to go under the pier. Dude throws his rod down. Like, right? in the water? Yeah, and one throws of it down to the guy down him. there. Tarpon goes under the pier. Oh, no. They go all over the other side, and they go run out there to get a picture. None of them brought a phone. Nobody had a camera. What? Had a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Great plan. Yeah. Golly. Yeah. Any shots at those? Wow. Yeah. 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 The, the, there was a that little wide. I saw two of them. Yes, sir. <laughs> So I, yeah, man. I, I didn't think I would see y'all here today. Oh, oh, oh. That was you have to wait one second. One second. One second. Yeah, that's a big ring, dude. A big ring. I'm going to let it sink down a little bit. Nervous piece bone? I'm I, like, I think if I get eight, I might pee my pants. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Sorry, man. No, you're good. You're good, man. You can, you can come hop in here okay. if you want to hop yeah, in the man. middle. Come on. Yeah, watching watching you. <laughs> watching you be here. Is... <laughs> oh, dang. Ah, oh, they're going that way. Dang it. Oh. Yeah, that was, that was what I needed. Come on this side of the post here. They went out this way. I, they're gone now, but I had a good cast on them the first time. That was my best shot right For there. Sure. That was like, yeah, you, it, you there was no, right, yeah. well, there was nobody else here. You threw a great cast. I on led them. I mean, you, yeah. Oh, there's a bobo. I figured there'd be bobos with that bait. Bobo. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah, no, they're gonna be out of here. Oh, get out there, get out there. Uh, oh, look, they turned around. You gotta go. Hooked up. I'm trying. I'm trying. Coming over. Coming over. Coming over. Woo! Working. Yeah. Oh. 
It's your first land based bonita. Yes! Woohoo! Got him! I'm actually really stoked about this fish, man. This is the first one I've ever landed from land. Brant? It's been a long time coming. Yeah. It has. But you can't make fun of me anymore. Oh, we can definitely make fun of you. Look how small that thing is. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first land-based bonita and actually the first bonita I've ever caught on the channel <laughs> not very good at holding it. No, I don't even know what to do with this thing. I've caught some on a boat, but uh, this is my first one from a pier beach period These tarpon are right on the beach. They're just milling around. Have you thrown at them already? I mean sort of. Look at that. They're circling Through the middle of them right now Look at this. We got tarpon coming in right here. I'm gonna let them go through. What's them. beside them? Huh? That is just crazy. Look at them, guys. Right here. Big tarpon. That's crazy. They're tarpon. I don't know if you can see them, but they're right there. Three of them. They were in a big pod that broke off of them right here by the beach. Pretty insane. Pretty cool. Oh, got him! Got him! Got him! Yeah! Oh! Got him! Oh, come here! Come here! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, there we go. I think a foul hooked him. Okay, that's perfect. Keep him up. Follow, you gotta follow. Okay. Where'd he go? If he's found, you put the heat to Oh, He was all over that swim bait. Come here. Come here. Because the Carolina Reaper. Oh, did he, did he go around it? Did you get him? Yeah. Dang it. Come to me. Got it? Uh -uh. Got, Got it. Guys. Thank you. Woo! That's my first pier king on a swim bait. <laughs> oh, man. Look at there. How freaking cool is that? <laughs> I, was, I, I saw him swim. I'm like, oh shoot! Thanks, brother. Let me get a double up picture. Oh yeah, that'd be sweet. That's so awesome. Oh, man, he like fired off on that swim bait, dude. Yeah. Two firsts for me today. I got my first pier bonita and my first pier king on a swim bait. He was just cruising. I saw him. I sight fished him. He fired off on that swim bait. Pretty sick. Ooh, landed, landed, with, the, landed with, the with the gaff, man. <laughs> with the stick. Man, I'm so glad you're here. This is so cool, man. He's not that big, but uh, I think he'll be delicious. I might have to take him home and uh, cook him up. I'm stoked. Got our king mackerel here. I'm gonna get it cleaned up. I've never cleaned a king mackerel, so this is new to me. And I had to cut it in half to fit it in the cooler that I had to get because I actually did not have a cooler with me, so <laughs> I didn't make it fit. Um, but a little awkward that we're uh, doing this fish and halvesies here. There we go, there's one chunk. I saw a video, I'm, I'm just gonna test this out. Um, Michael Sharkey, I, he uh, goes by, he's a, a charter captain in somewhere in in Texas maybe he had a video where he did this and uh, so I, I did not learn this from anywhere other than that video so I want to give him credit for that he cut the king mackerel like this and then just basically poked out he made it look really easy I'll be surprised if it's that easy but I wanted to try it for myself I'm, I feel like it need to separate a little bit more oh my gosh <laughs> this is like the easiest thing Wow okay this is what he did he just pushed out the meat I can't believe it. That's pretty easy. Wow. Okay. I was skeptical. 
but uh, that was really easy. He he just ran his hand down and knocked all the. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, I did not do that as smooth as he did. <laughs> he just like ran his hand down and knocked all the balls off. They still came out, but look at that. Little king balls. That's impressive at how how smooth that went. That's crazy. So yeah, he just cut like two inch segments in the king, went down and pushed out either side. And then that way you're kind of getting the red meat off of there, that's crazy. Removing it from the skin at the same time. This is crazy, man. <laughs> I'm like blown away at how easy these little king balls pop out. That's impressive, okay. Um, I will say it does seem like there's some additional waste when you do that, but you are popping out like the most uh, desirable pieces of the king, which I, I've never eaten king, but um, I hear it's, you know, maybe not the best eating fish. There's a filet there. I, what I'm doing here, I've seen this before, just cutting around that bloodline that center line and then just cutting down to remove that skin on these loins making sure we're not getting any red meat on there there we go that looks pretty good i don't know i don't know i haven't decided yet some people do king balls they fry them or they yeah or they um grill them i've seen where they like they like wrap it in bacon and put some in it. So maybe I can try that. We got our king mackerel. I've got some tenderloins here that I'm gonna leave whole, and then we've got our balls that I'm gonna wrap in bacon. But I've marinated this for about 30 minutes in Italian dressing, and I'm just gonna put some Zatarain's Creole seasoning on it, and then of course we're gonna wrap in bacon. Anything should taste good wrapped in bacon. You look adorable. Look at your hair. Did Mimi do your hair? <laughs> Let me see. Who's on your dress? Who, who are you wearing it. today? Minnie! We'll show them. Show us. Minnie! Minnie! Can you curtsy? Oh, good job. <laughs> Dad's seasoning our lunch. Yeah, oh, well, well don't tell. Okay, okay, go get your stool. So I've wrapped the balls in bacon and just stuck a little toothpick in there. We're going to throw it on the grill. It, it, it looks like it's going to turn out pretty good. I'm excited to give this a shot. And then the rest of it, I'm just going to throw it on tin foil and put it on the grill just like that. I'm going to drop our bacon covered king balls on the grill. Again, I've never done this. This is new for me. So uncharted territory. These actually look pretty good and smell even better. I wish you could smell it, but of course, there's a lot of bacon going on in there. <laughs> but look at it. Take a whiff. Smell it. Mmm. Smell it. Smell it. Oh my gosh. Smelling that. Smells pretty awesome. You smell it? Did you smell it? Yes, our daughter is a extreme video hog and ham she always has yeah. to be in the video Way i have never had king mackerel so i'm gonna go ahead and try one of these kingfish balls now this is uh of course not going to give me a true idea because there's of course the bacon and all that going on i do have some fish kind of cooked more regular that i'm going to eat as well just so i can get a better idea of what king mackerel is like in a normal scenario it smells so good of course a lot of that's the bacon but you can smell the like italian and all that mm -hmm. it might still be i don't i think it's cooled off enough you're hesitating a lot no i'm, I'm just I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm processing what's going on it's really good i mean there's no fishy taste at all. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you wanna try it? That's really good. Yeah, it's not too hot. No, it's not hot at all. You wanna try this binder? Yeah. 
Mm. That's really good. It really is good. You like it? Mm-hmm. I mean, like you said, you can taste the bacon. Yeah. It's different. I'm going to try just this. Yeah. Just the fish. Mmm. It's good, though. Yeah, I wonder, even just the fish has like a smoky, yeah. which is the charcoal. But. Oh yeah, well it could be the bacon too, because I mean it's basically cooked in bacon grease. Mm. So I, want, I do want to try. I'm going to try just the piece of fish. It's good. It's a little dry. Yeah, I kind of probably like that, over but. maybe overcooked it, but I wanted to make sure the bacon was good. You know, done. Yeah. Put some hair in your mouth. You like what it? What do you think? It's kind of salty. Is it salty? Salty. <laughs> was, was ah. it? It's salty. <laughs> it's got a lot of flavor. That it, part it, does have it, a lot of flavor. Is it salty? I well, it's just from the dressing, I think. It's just, it's got a lot of flavor. Oh, it's good. I think. I it's like good. it. Yeah. It's this salty. actually might be less dry, these fillets, yeah. than the balls. <laughs> yeah. The bacon wrapped king balls. Thumbs up. Yes. It, it, it's, it's funny calling anything balls, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. But they're really good. It makes me laugh, and I'm 36 years old. Yeah. Bacon wrapped king balls are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi's here as well. What did you think? They were incredible. Very I would never thought I'd like king mackerel balls. <laughs> <laughs> but anything wrapped in bacon. That's yeah. true. That's right. Anything wrapped in bacon. And Emily ate hers. Yeah. She left she, the bacon. Yeah. But she did eat the fish. <laughs> because it's brand new. What are you doing? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> they, they already accuse you of being a camera haul. <laughs> You know that. They really yes. <laughs> Very good fish. I, I'm surprised actually at how good the king mackerel was because I just haven't heard a lot of good stuff. What are you, I can't do anything with you in my lap. Okay, are you getting you down? Do getting down? Okay. okay. I'm really surprised at how good king mackerel really was just because I've heard not great things about it, but we ate it fresh. Really good fish. We're very surprised. Even just the fillets themselves. Very good. I definitely would eat it again, but definitely gonna have to do the King Mackerel Bacon Wrap Balls again. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please go ahead and do that now. And as always, you wanna do this? Say Bunny! They can't see you, you gotta come up here. Say Bunny! You gotta come up here. <laughs> and as always,